And here is React application. And again it has package.json file that was automatically generated. And here in this package.json file I see such list of dependencies. For example, I see dependency React or React DOM or React Scripts. And notice that version of the React Scripts package is exact, it is 4.0.3 in my case. In your case it might be more recent, of course. But versions of the React or React DOM could be installed more recent. More recent minor versions or patch versions are accepted by such rule, here or here, for example. Same applies to those packages. If I scroll a bit down, I'll see several npm scripts, like start, build, test and eject. And if you enter npm start, actually such command will be executed under the hood. react-scripts start. And react scripts is basically executable file available inside of the node modules folder. Let's go there. Let's expand node modules folder, expand .bin folder and here please search for React Scripts executable file. Let's carefully scroll down a bit. And it should be somewhere here. Yes, here it is. React Scripts executable file. And when you again enter npm start command, actually this script will be executed. And React Scripts is not again installed globally on my computer. If I open up embedded terminal here and enter React Scripts, like that, I'll see command not found, because I have not installed this package globally on my computer. Basically, with help of npm, you could install dependencies globally on your computer. But in most cases, all dependencies are installed inside of the project, and that's what you see here in this example. Great, enough talking, let's now try to start our React application with help of npm start script. Let's enter this command directly here in the terminal, npm start. React scripts start command was executed, starting development server. And here now you should see React application that will be automatically loaded. And here it is, it is now running at localhost port 3000. That's what npm start command did for us. There are also other scripts like build, test or eject. Let's try for example build script. Please notice that uh, such scripts as start or test could be executed simply by entering npm start or npm test. And basically we could try to run npm test here, like that, npm test. And you see that test suite will be started and we could run all tests and one test just passed. If you're not familiar with React, please no worries, I just demonstrate to you how to use different npm scripts. But uh, now if I enter npm build, I will actually get error. Did you mean this npm run build instead of npm build? And that's because you are not able to run such scripts as build simply by entering npm build command like we just did you'll get error unknown command build. Instead, you need to use npm run build command or npm run eject command and so on. These are some scripts here in this React application. Also in this package, the JSON file, there are other blocks of configuration like ESLint config and browser's list. 